Welcome to another episode of Manitowoc Garage. Today we're going to be talking about an audio range meter. Uh, we're using a fluke for the example today and some of the basic functions. Okay, first so we'll talk about the fluke audio range style meter. Just a quick overview of some of the things on it. You have to pay attention to your category listing to make sure you're using the appropriate uh, protection for the application you're using. There's a couple ports here that we'll talk about more in detail for where your leads get plugged into based on which measurement you're trying to uh, take. You've got your dial here to change to whatever measurement setting that you're trying to use. A button here for your backlighting and then a couple uh, feature buttons up here below your display that will actually display your measurement. And just something to keep in mind, you should also receive a manual with your meter if there's any questions uh, safety wise or measurement wise you can always consult that as well uh, so you can also flip the meter around on the rear on this model you have a prop and under the prop there is a spot to take out two screws so that you can replace the nine volt battery that's in them uh, there's also a couple of fuses that uh, could blow for protection purposes that are also replaced in the same compartment on the back of the meter. On the bottom of the meter you'll see a couple things. Uh, you'll see your cat ratings. Different cat ratings are for different applications and maximum measurements so you always want to consult your manual to make sure that you're using the right category rating for the application that you're using. You also have different spots to plug in your leads. Your common lead will always stay in the common position. Your red lead will change position based on what, try, what kind of measurement you're trying to achieve. For voltage and resistance and continuity, you're going to be plugged into this one here. If you have to do some sort of current rating, you're going to choose either the 10 amp or the 400 milliamp jack spot for your red lead. You want to use the closest jack setting that you can use. Anything over 400 milliamps, you're going to use the 10 amp jack. Anything for 400 milliamps and under, you're going to plug it into the 400 milliamp jack to get a more accurate reading. So on the top portion of the meter, start off with your dial. You have an off selection for the position of the dial. Voltage. To measure AC voltage, a voltage setting for DC voltage, a DC millivolts setting, resistance, continuity, milliamps, AC and DC, you would make that selection change by selecting the yellow button. And amperage, AC and DC, again you would make that change by selecting the yellow button. Any other place that you see here on the dial that has a yellow indicator, you can change between that setting and the one displayed in yellow using this button here. So you can go between voltage and hertz on that selection you can go between resistance and uh, measuring a capacitor in this setting. You can go between continuity and measuring a diode on that setting and again AC to DC measurement changes by using the yellow button on those. The top buttons below the display you have a hold button that you can hold a particular measurement you have a min and max. If you use this min and max button, you can measure a minimum value and a maximum value and then get an average on those. And since this is an auto range multimeter, it will automatically be set to auto range. But if you want to manually set the range, you can press the range button and select the range that you would like uh, manually as well. You also have a button here to control the backlight on the display. So if you make a selection 
where you see a yellow icon, you can switch between two different settings on that same position of the dial. Here, if you select amperage, you're going to be plugged into the lower 10 amp port with your red lead. It's already set on AC automatically. If you press the yellow button, you can see how it goes to DC. Same way with your milliamps. If you set it to a milliamp setting, you would be plugged in with your red lead on the 400 milliamp jack. And you can see it's already set to AC. If you want to go to DC, you push the yellow button. For your continuity and diode, it will go to a continuity check and it gives you the buzzer icon. If you push the yellow button, you can then see that it changes to a diode check. If you want to measure resistance, in yellow you see a capacitor check. If you push the yellow button, it will then measure in farads. And finally, the voltage frequency setting here, it goes to voltage. You see voltage there. If you press the yellow button, it will then go and show you hertz for a frequency measurement. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Mantua Garage. Uh, make sure that you tune in for future videos.